Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your teacher Usman Ali and in our today's video we would solve numerical number second related to the covered interest arbitrage. Okay, <clears throat> now again this is a speculation based uh, numerical where we intend to find profit with the help of currency uh, exchange rates, current and future expected and the different interest rates actually and we try we will try to see that if we can find profit out of it or not so let's go through the numerical diamond bank expect that the singapore dollar will depreciate now earlier in earlier videos i also discussed this thing that we're going to take our default currencies as us dollar because the, the author of the book has taken a usd as the base currency so usd is our local currency and singaporean dollar or singapore dollar is our a foreign currency so the it is it says that the Singapore dollar will depreciate which means uh, it will lose its value so when the foreign currency loses its value against our local currency so then we would apply the rule of borrowing actually if you remember from the borrowing and lending rules video so we're gonna apply the borrowing rule because Singapore dollar is our foreign currency and it is expected to depreciate against our local currency. Okay, the currently the spot rate is that one Singaporean dollar is equal to zero point forty three dollars. It's given here, and it is expected that in the future the same one Singaporean dollar will be equal to lesser USD from 0.43 to 0.42 in 60 days actually okay these are the interest rates one of the problem that I see in these interest rate is there is too much big difference here okay like 7% and 22% if you see in the value of their currency there is no significant difference it's like not all one to one but it's like almost half a relationship but that's not almost half a relationship Singapore dollar is three times interest rate is three times bigger than the uh, US interest rate and here if you can see so you can say that uh, dollar is almost uh, double of the Singapore dollar but here it's like a triple relation is there three ratio is there and two ratio is there this could be a potential issue in our question, but let's see if it does create problem for us or not. Okay, if you remember our previous uh, numericals actually, so we, we did solve numerical number one. I will just show you here. If you see here, one Mexican peso was 0 0.15 and one Mexican peso was 0 0.15, sorry. Okay, so you had the almost like not one, but not a very big difference as well. Okay. And the interest rate if you see were also quite matchable but here the value is like kind of uh, one Singapore dollar is this much and then it will go this much so it's not a big difference between their values but if you see their interest rate so this could be a potential problem but let's let's verify if it is a source of a problem for us or not so let's do the numerical now in the numerical, if you remember, uh, we're going to apply borrowing rule. We will borrow money in the Singapore dollar, okay? And even, it is given in the numerical as well, that Diamond Bank consider uh, borrowing 10 million Singapore dollars in the interbank. So we are supposed to borrow actually according to this as well and see if we can earn profit or not. So in step number one, we will borrow money actually. So we will borrow the Singapore dollar. And how much quantity we can borrow? Let's see. In the question, it says borrow 10 million Singapore dollar. So we will borrow 10 million Singapore dollar. Okay. This would be my present value. The life of this borrowing will be 60 days, which is given in the numerical. And the interest rate, the borrowing interest rate of the Singapore dollar, if I borrow, is 24% okay sorry yeah if you can see now clearly 20 24 percent okay so we got that on 24 percent now what should i do step two okay i have borrowed money in singapore dollar convert this 10 million singapore dollar into us dollars so one singapore dollar currently today what's 0 0.43 usd okay so 10 million 
Singaporean dollars will be equal to the quantity which is 10 million into the rate or this would become 4.3 million USD actually what should I do with this money I've converted that so it's very simple I will take this 4.3 million and will deposit this USD in US Bank let's say now if I deposit that my present value would be 4.3 million which I have actually handed over to the bank the life of this deposit will be matching one which is 60 days as compared to my loan and the interest rate the lending interest rate that the bank will offer to me it's US dollar if I lend money I gonna receive 7% or I'm entitled to receive 7% interest actually once deposited then I'm supposed to wait for those 60 days to finish okay the 60 days are done then I move towards step 5 in which I will receive back sorry not bank receive back my dollars which I have deposited actually so how much dollars I will receive for that I need to take help from the interest rate formula you know 360 because of our previous videos why 360 okay the, our we deposited 4.3 million dollars in the US bank and the bank promised to pay 7% interest which is annual so we need to divide it by the number of years rounded number of uh, days in one year and the total days of investment is 60 days I will divide 7% by 360 will then uh, uh, plus the answer of it with 1 and then take the 60 power of that so in short I will do the calculation directly and I will write the direct value here which is 1.00019 and double four and triple four actually and sorry it's not the overall value so I will take the power of this this and then multiply it with 4.3 so this would become around uh, four million three lakh and fifty thousand four hundred and fifty five point fifty one US dollars okay this is the money that we will receive from the bank now what should I do with this money one I should know how much money must be given back to the Singaporean bank because I took a loan from them how much Singapore dollars should be paid back to them to finish the liability one then how much dollars from this must be converted to finish that liability two and then calculate the profit as uh, we discussed in the previous numericals so let's go to our step number six which is how much Singaporean dollars are needed to finish the liability actually or finish the loan so to calculate that we would again rely on the time value of money formula okay now how much loan we took we actually took a loan of 10 million dollar from the Singaporean bank with an interest rate if you remember from step number one was 24 percent we're gonna divide this 24 percent on 360 and then we can take it the power of uh, 60 days investments okay so this would be around uh, let's go for it uh, 10 million and what I will do is I will divide this 24% on 360 and then we'll plus it with 1 whatever answer I get I will take the power as 60 so saving time I will directly write the answer 79 and 6903 when you multiply that with the loan so the total amount of payment that you are expected to make is 10 million four lakh seven thousand nine hundred and sixty nine point zero three Singapore dollars this is the amount of money that must be paid back to the bank because you took a loan on 24 percent interest okay that's great so what do we have right now 
we have some amount of dollars with ourselves. That's four, four point three million fifty thousand something, and we we need to pay back a loan in Singapore dollars. So let's calculate that how many USD are needed actually for this much repayment. Okay, so let's calculate that in step number seven. How much USD is needed for the above quantity okay now we are standing after 60 days so one Singapore dollar was expected to be equal to 0.42 USD okay and how much Singapore dollars we need we need 10 million four lakh seven thousand nine hundred and sixty nine point zero three Singaporean dollars so it would be the quantity which is Four zero seven nine six nine point zero three multiply by the exchange rate, which is four zero point four two this time. So we get actually around four million. Sorry, four million and three lakh seventy one thousand three hundred and forty six point ninety nine dollars. It means that I have this much money out of this this much should be taken and converted to Singaporean dollar and finish the liability and whatever is left with me is actually called as my profit so let's calculate the profit in step number eight now I, the profit can be calculated by what by cash uh, in what you say inflow minus cash outflow okay the cash inflow we have is oh, 4 million and 3 lakh and 50,455 the rounded figure and our cash outflow we need like this much USD is this much rounded figure if I subtract it like it's the outflow is bigger than the inflow which means there is a loss loss of how much loss of 20,891 US dollars so look at this if I follow the whole story and even if I follow the rule earlier at the start of the numerical I discussed that if the foreign currency is depreciating we're gonna borrow and even in the numerical we were instructed to do the same thing but in the numerical it was also hinted to us that it could be profit or losses as well let's see so if we even follow the borrowing rule we ended up with a loss why so is, is there any issue with the rule no there is no issue with the rule but actually there is a small problem which i identified earlier that the interest rate differential is kind of like three times like seven plus seven plus seven so a singapore interest rate is three times almost three times bigger than the interest rate of us okay whereas the relationship of their exchange rate is not three times actually it's, if you see one dollar is two times of the Singapore dollar so there is a mismatch in the value of currency actually and the interest rate also and because of that we faced losses if we follow this procedure so we do not have any profit actually I hope you got the point okay and then I will be uploading one another video of this interest rate and exchange rate uh, kind of uh, a relationship but that is not an numerical but it's just a concept uh, that I briefly want to explain but earlier even in this uh, question I had explained it by comparing the interest rate given to us in numerical number one if you see value and the differences and then if you see the value and the differences so it's kind of like big so at the start of the numerical even we pointed out that it could be a possible uh, problem for us Okay, so this was your numerical number two, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Stay safe.